Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve this particular DLR set. I suggest everyone to take the screenshot of this data, try this by yourself and then come back to this video. So let's start solving this set. Pavni, a general manager at a coffee shop, collected information about the number of customers for each of the 10 types of coffee ordered at the shop during that particular year. Further, she also collected the number of customers who asked for extra sugar in coffee they ordered. P represents the number of customers who ordered a particular coffee type as a percentage of total number of customers, whereas Q represents the number of customers who asked for extra sugar in a particular type of coffee as a percentage of total number of customers who ordered that particular type of coffee. And this table is given. So let's have a look at first question everyone. The first question is what is the average number of coffees ordered with extra sugar that each customer ordered during the year. So hold on. What we will do here is let's assume that total number of customers are 100 no 1000. Okay let's we need to take double percentages. So let's assume that total number of customers is equal to 1000. So out of these 1000 customers, how many ordered coffee of type A? 100. And out of that, how many asked for the extra sugar? 55% of 100, that is 55 people. How many people ordered coffee type B? 10% of total number of customers that is again 100 and 15% of this is 15 people are going to ask for extra sugar. Now coffee type C 15% of total customers is 150. Out of that 75% are going to ask for extra sugar. So 75% of 150 is how much? 50% is 75 and 25% means one fourth. One fourth is going to be 37.5. Keep it as it is. A, keep it as it is as of now. Coffee type D. 15% of total customers. 15% of 1000 is 150 again. And the 45% everyone. The 45% is going to be how much? 40% is how much? 40% is 60. Plus 5% of 150 is how much? 7.5. We are getting number of customers as decimal because we assumed total number of customers as 1000. So from this we can say that the number of customers cannot be 1000. It is going to be some, uh, some other number. But let's assume it. It is going to be a relative number. Let's talk about coffee type E everyone. 20% of total customers, 20% of 1000 is 200. And then 65% of 200 is going to be how much? 1% is 2, so 65% is going to be 130. Similarly, 25% of 1000 is 250 and 30% of 250 is 75. 30% of 1000 is 300, 70% of 300 is 210. 30% of 1000 is 300 and 60% of 300 is 180. 40% of 1000 is 400 and its 55% is going to be how much? 50% is 200 plus 5% is 20 and then coffee type J total number of customers 1000 for that 45% is 450 and 25% of 450 means how much 1 by 4 that is equal to 1 by 4 of 450 that is equal to 112.5 so from this what we can observe that the total number of orders is going to be the addition of column P total number of orders is equal to addition of column P and add addition of column P is greater than 1000. So from this we can conclude that there are customers who ordered more than one type of coffee. Okay everyone. So what I will do is I will copy this data and will paste this on the next slide. So let's have a look at it everyone. Question number one. Question number one says that what is the average number of coffees ordered with extra sugar? So basically we need to add all these numbers with the extra sugar everyone. And let's do this addition. This addition is equal to how much? Let's have a look at it everyone. 
55 plus 15 it's 70 70 plus 130 is 200 410 490 590 690 790 810 810 870 then 940 940 950 then 1020 till this the addition is 1020 plus this addition is how much 45 45 and which numbers are remaining 45 145 157.5 so let's do this addition everyone this addition is going to be how much 1177.5 1, everyone so these many orders these many orders are there with extra sugar so what we need to find the average number of coffee orders with extra sugar that each customer each customer means per customer so our answer is number of orders with extra sugar is 1177.5 divided by total number of customers is 1000 because we need to find the average each customer per customer so the answer is going to be how much 1.1775 that is option number D this is how we can solve this let's have a look at second question everyone second question is which coffee type with extra sugar was ordered by third lowest number of total customers so extra sugar third lowest number of total customers if number of customers are 1000 the lowest first lowest is which one let's have a look at it the first lowest is coffee type B second lowest is coffee type A hold on and 15 is the first lowest number 55 is the second lowest number then the third lowest number is going to be this one everyone coffee type D is third lowest number so the answer to this question which coffee type with extra sugar was ordered by third lowest number of total customers the answer is going to be option number C that is coffee type D after that let's have a look at question number three hold on it is known that the customers who ordered J and those who ordered another coffee type say X did not order any other coffee type if no customer who ordered J ordered X then how many of these nine coffee types excluding J can be X let's have a look at it everyone so the first of all we know that how many customers ordered coffee type J let's have a look at it total 45 percent people ordered coffee type J after that there is a coffee type X coffee type X can be any coffee type it can be a B C D and so on we don't know what will come at the place of X it is a variable so let's say coffee type X is ordered by P percent of people now over here the statement is no customer who ordered J ordered X let me underline that no customer who ordered J ordered X everyone it means in between these two people no person is common no one is common means there is no one who is going to order coffee type J also and coffee type X also and the first statement says that it is known that the customers who ordered J and those customers who ordered coffee type X they are not going to order any other coffee type so from this what we can conclude that the number of people who ordered other coffee types look at number of people who ordered other coffee types is equal to how much 100 percent minus in a bracket 45 plus p percent this subtraction is going to be how much 55 minus p so if you check the other coffee types everyone excluding j if you 
check the other coffee types the largest number is which one 40 is the largest number so from this what we can conclude that the value of 55 minus p should be greater than or equal to 40 everyone it cannot be less than 40 because we need to adjust that 40 as well okay and the one who ordered coffee type j and coffee type x they are not going to order coffee type i everyone so we need space for that 40 percent that is why 55 minus p the value of this should be greater than or equal to 40 so from this we can say that 15 should be greater than or equal to p means p should be less than or equal to 15 everyone okay so p represent what coffee type x everyone p represent coffee type x so how many people are going to order coffee type x p percent people and the value of p is what p is less than or equal to 15 hold on so which coffee type can satisfy this condition coffee type a coffee type b coffee type c and coffee type d these are the four coffee types which are going to satisfy the given condition everyone so how many values x can take coffee type x can be coffee type a or coffee type b coffee type c or coffee type d so x can assume four values four different coffee types can be x so the answer is for everyone so this is how we can solve this set